Welcome everyone to another Pokemon Go episode. In this episode, I'm going to be going over our top catches and hatches of the week. I spent the week in Atlanta, so I couldn't play that much Pokemon Go. Uh, so the catches aren't too extraordinary, especially compared to the last couple weeks. Uh, but we do have some interesting ones and some really useful ones. And at number 8, we have Nino King. This 1968 Nino King caught in Atlanta. Super strong. Hopefully, you're going to be able to use it in some gym gym battles. And at number seven, we have Omastar. Uh, this Omastar is a beast. 1704, way stronger than my, my current Omastar. It knows Mud Shot and Rock Slide, which hopefully will make it good against uh, Lapras, because I do need a good Lapras killer, especially when training, when uh, when an unfortunate trainer puts a... Uh, a Lapras as the as the bottom Pokemon, so it should be should be pretty useful to to use. And at number six, we have Clefable. This Clefable, ever since I hit level thirty, I've seen all these maxed out Pokemon. And this Clefable is nineteen forty two. You'll see the bars pretty much all the way there. It's uh, level thirty, I believe, and it knows Pound, which is really good, high DPS. Uh, quick attack and it knows moon blast uh, which is also another great charge move but it's also a fairy move which means that it's going to be super effective against dragonite so it should be should be good to use and speaking of dragonite we have number five we have this 147 cp dragonite this dragonite pretty low on the list considering it's a dragonite but uh, because it's a dragonite it's on the list uh, it knows steel wing and hyper beam which is a horrible move set. Uh, well, anything with Steel Wing is a, is a pretty horrible move set. So there's not really any situation where I'm going to use this Dragonite even in training. Uh, but still, I'm going to keep it because it's a Dragonite. And at number four, a very similar story. This 492 Snorlax, I caught it. Super excited that I caught it. Uh, but again, it's pretty low CP. Snorlaxes are not the greatest attacker. So I probably won't use it even for training. Uh, and it knows Lick and Body Slam, which is, I believe, the second best moveset. Maybe the third best moveset, depending if you like Zen Headbutt Hyper Beam better than Lick Body Slam. But still, uh, pretty decent. And at number three, we have this 1037 Dragonair. And I've definitely caught Dragonairs with higher CP. But this Dragonair is either 91 or 93%. So if I don't catch a Dratini... Or a Dragonair that's higher IVs and a decent CP before not this Sunday, uh, but the following Sunday, I'm gonna take this one to Dragonite because I do need another really strong Dragonite so that I can put it in a gym and still have other strong Dragonites to, to use. And then number two, we have this 912 EV. You see the bar is already full. I believe it's 93% IVs. It should turn if it turns into Vaporeon, it should turn into a 2400 maybe just below 2400 vaporeon which is going to be make it really useful in gym battles and uh can be really useful to stick it into a, a gym and be really high up on on the list and at number one we have lapras i know you're sick and tired of all the lapras i'm showing but this Lapras is special, one, because above 2,000, which automatically makes it really useful in pretty much any gym battle. Uh, but it also knows Blizzard. It doesn't know Ice Breath or Frost Breath, uh, but it knows Ice Shard, which is not bad. I do prefer Frost Breath because it is faster, higher DPS, easier to dodge with. Uh, but Ice Shard, Blizzard, it should be able to destroy any Dragon Knight that it encounters. And it's my first Lapras that's above 2,000 that has Blizzard. So that's that's the video. But if you if you're interested in watching more Pokemon Go content, I post videos on Sunday, uh, where I do my massive evolution sessions. Friday, which are the the weekly catches and hatches of the week, and Wednesday, where I do my gym battles of the week. So I'm gonna be posting some pretty exciting stuff content. If give if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to poking posting more Pokemon Go content. Thank you and have a good day.